So you had a chance. These are calls for ceasefire from protesters in the middle of Adam Schiff's victory speech as he now prepares to fight for the permanent California U.S. Senate seat once held by the late Dianne Feinstein. It's the latest of many protests in California directed at politicians since the Israel-Hamas war started. Rebecca Husseini is in Highland Park making her voice heard behind the scenes. She's the chief of staff for IMPAC, Muslim Public Affairs Council. She's of Jewish descent with family dying in the Holocaust, but converted to Islam 20 years ago. She supports the protesters calling for an end of the war in Gaza. We have everyone from all over the spectrum right now speaking out on the issue from, you know, Muslim Americans to Jewish Americans to Christian Americans, um, the young, the old, they're all speaking out on this issue. According to a recent Reuters poll, 68% of Americans want to cease fire in Gaza. And Rebecca says the protests have been successful in making politicians listen. The rhetoric has shifted from what it was right after October 7th to what it has now. You've seen a marked shift in the, in the rhetoric, not only from government, but from media. And many feel it could have a major impact on the election, not just the presidential race, but in the House and Senate, too. KFIAM political commentator Mo Kelly says the Gaza war is a detriment of the Democrats in 2024. We saw what happened in Michigan with the uncommitted vote. People who were not specifically voting for Joe Biden and threatening to withhold their vote in the general election. As it relates to Adam Schiff, it's more like uh, accessibility. You may not be able to reach the president, but you can reach your congressperson who's running for Senate. That's the connection to Washington. I expect uh, Joe Biden to address this head on in his State of the Union speech. Meanwhile, Rebecca says the protesting won't stop until they see a change in policy, even beyond November. It won't stop at the election. I think I think that you will continue to see people, sustained people calling out for for a ceasefire. But beyond that, I think they'll they'll also call out for you know humanitarian uh, aid and and you know a solution to this issue. So she says people will continue to make their voices heard and with votes on the line, they hope those who seek office continue to listen. Yeah.